Uh, this is 2013 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2 and this is question number 14. Uh, solve the equ equation 6 cos squared x plus 7 sin x minus 8 is equals to 0 for the range x is greater or equals to 0 less than or equals to 90. So this is from the topic trigonometry 3 which you did in form 4. Uh, so for us to be able to solve this, we need to express our equation with one term. Uh, that is, you can see here we have cosine of squared x and here we have sine x. Uh, so we need to change either to cosine or sine. Uh, you learned this, you learned that uh, sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. This is an identity. So if we want, we can be able to take uh, sine squared x to the other side. So you have cos squared x. It, once it goes to the other side, it becomes minus. So it is 1 minus sine squared uh, x. We are going to use this to substitute cosine x squared. Uh, that is cosine squared x so that we will be left with sine. So you come here and you say... Uh, we have 6 now we have uh, we have cos squared cos squared x plus uh, 7 the sine of x and here we have minus 8 is equals to 0 so we now substitute cosine squared x with uh, this one so we write 6 into bracket instead of cosine squared we write 1 minus sine squared x uh, we say plus 7 sine x minus 8 is equals to 0. So we have now removed, successfully removed uh, cosine. So we open the bracket, we have 6, 6 times 1 minus 6 the sine squared of x uh, plus 7 the sine of x uh, minus 8 is equals to 0. Uh, so once you do that, we can be able to get to minus as uh, a minus that is we have minus 6 the sine squared x uh, then we have plus 7 the sine of x 6 minus 8 is minus 2 is equals to 0 uh, so that we get rid of this uh, minus sign here so that uh, our equation looks better so we take everything across the equal sign so this will be positive it will be uh, 6 the sine squared of x uh, plus 7 sine x crosses the equal sign becomes minus 7 the sine of x minus 2 j crosses becomes uh, positive 2 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation uh, you can maybe you can work it like this or you can say uh, just uh, just uh, let's work it like this. We get 2 now. We multiply 6 times 2. Uh, that will give us 12. We get two numbers such that when you add them, you get minus 7. And when you multiply, you get 12. So this will be minus 4 and uh, minus 3. Minus 4 times 3, that is 12. Uh, minus 3 plus minus 3, that will be minus 7. So we rewrite our quadratic equation and say this is 6, the sign of squared of x now instead of minus 7 sine x uh, here we write it is 4 uh, sine x uh, minus 3 sine x and then we have plus 2 we have not changed the equation because minus 4 sine x minus 3 sine x will still give you minus uh, 7 sine x now we factorize what is common here is 2 and also sine x I open the bracket here so we will be left here with uh, 3 sine x so that when you open the bracket you still end up with 6 sine squared x uh, then here we minus you have factored out 2 so 2 sine x so we will be left with 2 uh, here we factor out minus 1 so that whatever will be left inside will be the same as what is inside the bracket uh, then here we have uh, 3 sine x uh, minus 2 is equals to 0 so we can now write this and say uh, we factor out this is 3 uh, the sine of x uh, minus 2 
and we will have uh, then we will have two the sine of x uh, minus one is equals to zero so with that uh, we can be able to say that uh, if you it was, we normally say if the product of these two equals to zero then it means three sine x minus two is zero so if you take two to the other side you find that the sine of x is equals to uh, two over three uh, or when you take one to the other side here you'll be left with two sine x is equals to one you divide both by two you get or a half so if sa you, you use your calculator here and check the sine inverse so you say uh, x is equal so you go and press uh, uh, the button uh, in sine inverse and you put uh, uh, 2 divided by 3 and you will be able to get that will give you 41 uh, and uh, 0.81 degrees or what which angle gives you a half you still do the same uh, sine inverse of uh, a half you get it is 30 it is 30 so that is how you get the angle so this angle and because our we have been restricted to work with the uh, 0 to 90 these are the two angles that satisfy the the value of x uh, which we will be able to solve the equation that we have if you come here and substitute for x you put that here and 30 you'll be able to get zero if you put 41 and 0.18 41.18 you still be able to get is minus 8 you'll be able to get is equals to zero so that's how you work out that question i hope you have followed in any case you have any question you can just uh, put your comment down there i'll be able to see it and assist you where you have not understood the question